Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is number of laser beams in a bank. So in this question, we are given a M into N binary matrix, uh, which consists of strings. So each string consists of binary digits that is zeros and ones. So every string represents a row where that string consists of zeros and ones. Zeros represents an empty cell and one represents a security device in that cell. And these are the two conditions which we need to follow to get our output. So there is one laser beam between any two security devices if both the conditions are met. The two devices should be on different rows. So for example, so here there is a security device and here there is a security device. This condition is satisfied. For each row i, there are no security devices in the i row. So the laser will travel at most between these two devices. There can't be a laser between this and this device. So coming to the example given to us, let's take this example and see how we are getting the output. So this is the input array given to us and the bank array has four strings with index positions from 0 to 3. So this will be the 0th row, 1st row, 2nd row and 3rd row. And as you can see, there are three devices at index positions 1, 2 and 5. So according to the question, we have to calculate the number of beams between any two rows. So for example, this row, there is this device and the next closest row, there are no devices in this row. So we ignore that. And the next row we can consider is row 2. So we have to calculate the number of beams between row 0 and row 2. So every device in that row. So there is a laser between every row's devices those devices shouldn't be in the same row. As you can see, this device is being mapped to these two devices. This device is being mapped to these two devices. And this device is being mapped to these two devices again. So the total laser beams are six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now we consider the laser beams between row two and row three. So this is one laser and this device has one laser connection with this so this is one more so in this row there are two in this row there are six so total there are eight laser beams so eight is the output now that we understood the question that is this is a very easy approach this has three devices this has two devices and this has one device so we have to multiply these two three into two is equal to six we have to multiply these two two into one and we add those two which is equal to 8 so 8 is our output so i'm going to create a variable called previous row devices which is initially 0 and i'm going to create another variable current row devices which is also equal to 0 now we iterate through the input array from left to right so we first access the 0th row we count the number of devices in that we get the value 3 since 3 is greater than 0 we can process that row and now I calculate the final answer which is an input variable called total beams. So I multiply the current number of devices 3 into the previous row. Previous row, let's imagine there is one more row with devices 0. So 0 into 3 is equal to 0. So 0 into 3 is the first total beams. And now before starting the next iteration, now we finish this row. Now let's go to this row. The total number of devices are 0. So total number of zero devices is 0 which is not greater than 0. So there is no need to process that row because there are no devices in that. Now let's go to the next iteration. Next iteration i is pointing at 2. We count the number of devices in that row. Number of devices is 2. Now previous row's value will be 3 because we processed that row, right? Previous processed row's value is 3. So 3. And current row's number of devices is 2. So we multiply 2 with the previous row. 2 into 3. And now we update the previous row with 2 because for the next iteration i will be 3 and we have to process the previous row. Now in this row there is only one device. So current row's device is 1 and previous row is 2. So we add 2 into 1. This 2 will be multiplied and we reach the end of the bank row and this will be updated to 0 plus 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. So we have to create these three variables and process all the strings present inside the input banks and finally we'll get our output in the total beams variable. Now let's implement these steps in a Java program. Coming to the function given to us, this is the function name and this is the string array banks and we have to return an integer representing the total number of laser beams in the bank. So let's start off by creating the output variable. We, re we need an integer variable. I'm going to name it total beams because we have to return the total beams and initially it will be 0. 
Now I create another variable like I mentioned to keep track of the number of security devices in the previous row. So I'm going to name it previous row devices. That will also be zero because as of now in that row there are zero devices. Now we are going to iterate through the string array banks for which I'm going to use a for each loop. So this is a string array, right? So I'm going to create a string. I'm going to name it row because every entry inside the banks array is a row. So I'm going to iterate through the bank array using a string called row. Now I will iterate through this row from left to right. So for example, this is one row. I'm iterating through this row from left to right and I have to count the number of security devices. So I have to check how many ones are there. So I extract one character at a time and check if it is a one. So if that character is a one, I increment a security device for which I'm going to keep track of a variable for which I need a variable. So let's declare the variable here. I'm going to name it current row devices. So each time I encounter a one, I will increment this variable. Now we have the number of now we have the number of devices in that row. So if that so if this so if this value is greater than zero. So if so if it is greater than zero, I have to calculate the total beams that so it will be so total beams will keep on updating so plus equal to so previous row devices into current row devices so that will give you the number of beams and for every iteration this will keep on updating so we keep on adding to its previous total beams and now before starting the next iteration we have to update the previous row devices with the current row devices right and this will happen for all the strings present inside the bank array and finally, we can return the total beams outside the for loop. Now let's try to run the code. The test cases are being accepted. Let's submit the code. And a solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of M into N, where M is the length of the bank's array and N is the length of each string. And the space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.